So I have one final question yeah. for you, right? It's a hard hitting one, Daniel. What is the one thing that if you could change within the industry, you would to make life better for staff? Oh, what a great question. What can we do to make I, I, I think perhaps to take the stigma away from hospitality. There are so many people, and, and, and I've seen it in parents, where they, they don't see hospitality as a career. They, they, it's, it's not a career. It's a job you get between college and university or a job you get between school and college and, you know, a weekend job. They don't see it as a career. And you go onto the continent and, and it's, you know, restaurant managers in France are renowned. But, you know, they're, they're so yeah. famous. You, you know, you, you look at Fred, Fred Sirio, you know, these jobs you, you can do very well. And in, in the UK, I don't think it's seen as a, a, a strong career and, and it is it's a fulfilling career and the amount of people I've met over, over my career you know that, that, the, the time that I've been doing it the different people you meet and the friendships that you make and and yeah it's I mean it's bloody hard work it can be hard work I've got three children I would love to see more of but I'm, I'm here and, and I'm looking after my guests and, and yeah that's that's a um a choice that, that, that I've made by being in this industry, but it can be fulfilling and it can be prosperous and you can earn good money and, and you can have a, you know, and you look at people like Gordon or Jane Miller and all these, all Ainsworth, these people that put all their effort and time into their trade and, and seeing, the, seeing the benefits and the, and the rewards, it is a fulfilling career. And I don't think that parents sometimes see that. So when you get to college, or that they're sent down the university routes, go, going to something at university rather than, oh, hang on a minute, I am not really artistic enough, but my parents want me to go and do art at university because it's because it, I'm going to university where you could go into an apprenticeship uh, for two years, not have that huge, massive bill out hanging over your head and come out with it with much better life skills, perhaps than you know, being able to drink three Jager bombs in a minute. Yeah, <laughs> and, and and also you get the opportunity to travel. Just because you yeah. work in a hotel in England doesn't mean you can't go to America and work in that hotel. Yeah. And I think I've had, I've had friends I've worked with, they've gone on to Royal Caribbean and sailed, you know, sailed the world, look at meeting different, you know, people, going to different countries. But friends have gone over to Switzerland, you know, I have a, a colleague once that went to the other stint to Buckingham Palace to get that experience. And if you're skilled and you're willing to move and you're willing to travel, the world is your oyster in hospitality. You yeah. know, there is so many different avenues. Once you've got a background in hospitality, it can take you into so many different experiences. Like you could work for a tech company that sells into the hospitality industry if you've got experience with property management systems. You could be a GM that wants to get out of the rat race to spend more time with family and things like that. So do consultancy. And it's funny how it always, the roots are always there. If you're in hospitality, your roots will always be there. So you'll find something related to hospitality to do, I think, you know. But yeah, I think if, you know, if it could change anything, I think we should take that stigma away from parents that think it's just a weekend job, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a way to earn extra money when it's so much more than that. And if you can change those attitudes you might find that there's more people out there looking for jobs there's more people out there wanting to turn it into a career and you know some of these some of these youngsters could go out and change the whole industry or have ideas that that nobody else has, has had and and have a massive effect on on the way whole operations or whole industries are changed Absolutely. I think we need to watch the space, right? We'll have, we're going to have to catch up with you in a couple of months and see how your um, new recruits are doing. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they'll be, doing, they'll be doing quite well. Hopefully they've not blown up any kettles like I would have done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, that's it from Back of House Banter for this episode. So I'd like to say thanks to Daniel for joining me and have a Thank wonderful you. day, guys. Bye.